Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how I drew my dog eyes. Uh, for this lab I wanted to make them really bright and colourful um, to make them as a real focal point against the cream. I wanted to make them really vibrant so that they stand out. I also find that my clients love it when I add the extra colour because it brings them really to life. This video is pretty much in real time. I only speeded it up a bit so you'll be able to follow along pretty easily. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe channel. All right, let's get started. So as usual, my main focus is to outline the area and the shape of what I'm gonna be working with. In this case, I'm doing the, the dark skin around the eye that shows around the dog eye. Okay, and because of the fact that I know that this is pitch black, I'm working with black. Sometimes I find that artists are too afraid to go too dark and the dark and the white values are really what's going to make your drawings pop. So as you can see, I'm just outlining the skin around the eye and then also the iris. For this photo I have of this dog, it's a really fantastic photo. I took it myself um, and so I can see where all the little details are. If you have a photo that isn't very good, what you can do is you can go on Google or a stock photo website or uh, Pexels and find yourself a photo of a dog eye um, or a close up one of a dog and see where all the details are and add them to your dog drawing. Okay, so next thing I go in with a slate grey and I like to do in the area around the actual skin of the eye because um, this is going to be the transition point between the fur and the eye. It's important not to do just a single colour for your skin around the eye. Usually I like to do blues and purples. I'm going to be adding more colours to this. Next, I like to add in where the pupil is. It's important to have the direction of where your dog is looking. And so I like to add that in very carefully. Um, you can see I'm not pressing down too hard when I did the pupil because I don't want to set it in stone just yet. Okay, I like to add details of the skin around the eye. It has its own texture. Um, it's almost like a wrinkled texture in this one. As you can see, I like to add blues. Um, I'm going to add purples and pinks to that skin around the eye just to make it unique and also to have a, a greater variation of colour. So now I come back to the iris and so when I do my highlight I like to do them um, blues, whites and greys depending on the sunniness of the day will depend on how you want your highlight to be. I alternate between the colours and I lay them gently on top of one another that way I can do transitions uh, more smoothly. Colouring natural iris, um, I'm starting with a very orangey brown and then I like to use a darker brown just to show where the corners are. You're going to find that you have darker areas closer to the lid and also closer to the outer edge of the iris just because of the fact that there is a shadow between the skin and the iris. Okay, so it's really important to go in and darken the areas that you need because again, we need that contrast and the highlighted areas we don't need too much of. So as you can see, as I go lighter, I use less and less of the pencil. So here I'm adding the reflection of light um, to show that the iris is actually round. The eye is a rounded shape, and so I want to show that. I was feeling like my eye was looking a bit too reddish brown, so I decided to add some yellow just to make it less red and more natural. So I like to add a darker area up at top. That's going to be the overhang of the eyelashes over the top of the eye. I also like to do eyelashes as well. That's a really nice detail to add to your drawings when you're doing them. 
because they will stop the light and so they will cause a shadow on your highlight. When it comes to the eye, you know, here I'm doing the highlight of the skin of the membrane of the, that protects the eye. Adding texture and details to the skin around the eye is really important. You know, there are a lot of different layers, you know, and you have the tear duct and, you know, so there are all these little different areas that you need to highlight and shadow to create depths in your eyes. So there we have it finished. That is our detailed dog's eye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it has helped you to create your next dog eye. Please don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe channel. So in the next week, I'll be creating a new video and I'll see you soon. Have a great week.